Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own it already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We have been solving problems from page number 219 and today is our lesson number 79 lesson number 79 I do not have any particular problem in mind to, to, to solve today what we're going to do today is to learn the concept of prime numbers many a times I will come across people who may have learned this concept of prime numbers many many moons ago as young boys and girls in the school, school days and after 20 some years they have forgotten it so let's, let's, let's refresh our, uh, our, our memory and, uh, and relearn what exactly are the prime numbers what's the definition of a prime number here's the definition a prime number a prime number is a number that can only that can only only be divided by itself and one it cannot be divided by any other number and of course any number can be divided by 1, any number uh, is divisible by 1, and any number will can be divided by itself. You divide a number by itself, you get 1. So this actually is more of a theoretical uh, curiosity. Other than 1 in itself, you cannot divide this number by any other number. On the blackboard, I put together a list of prime numbers 1 through 100. 1 through 100, I'm going to go through them very quickly, and then after ha having gone through the list, I want you to pause the video and locate all the boo-boos. There might be one or two boo-boos in it. So here are the num here are the here's the list of prime numbers from 1 through 100. 1 3 5 7 9. The reason I'm reading them is because the handwriting is too small here. You may have trouble reading it, some of them. 11 13 17 19 and 21. 23 27 29 31 33. 37 49 51 53 55. 57, 59, 61, 63, 67, 69, 71, 73, 77, 83, 87, 89, 91, 93, and finally 95 and 97. Pause the video, do the exercise, you will get something out of it, trust me. Pause the video at this point, do the problem yourself, and then resume the video. I'm going to give you five seconds to do exactly that, to pause and unpause. Very good. Let's get going then. For a number to be a prime number, first of all, it has to be an odd number. Because if had it been an even number, you can divide it by 2 and it will no longer be a prime number. So, let's go through here. We have uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, it's fine. 3 can be divided by 3. 3, sorry, 9 can be divided by 3. 9 equals 3 times 3, which means 9 is not a prime number, it can be divided by 3. 11 is fine, 13 is fine, 17 is fine, 19 is fine. What about 21? 21 can be divided by 3 and 7. 21 can be divided by 3 and 7. 21 equals 3 times 7. That's no good. I should have, I should have used my red, red pen here so we can make it more salient. 23 is fine. 27 can be written as 3 times 9. So that's no good. It can be divided by 3. It can be divided by 3 and 9. 29 is okay. 31 is good. 33. What about 31? 33. 33 is very easy to see because it's the same digit. It can be divided by 11. Because multiples of 11 are 11, 22, 33, 44 and so forth. So that's no good. 37 should be fine. What about 49? 49 is no good. 49 is a perfect square. Which means it is 7 times 7. Which means 49 can be divided by 7. It is no good. What about 51? 51 is a tricky one to see, isn't it? 51 is a tricky one to see. Here is, here is a quick check. When you come across an odd number, when you come across an odd number and you are asked to determine whether or not it's a prime number, the very first thing you should do, of course, that's not the, that's not the answer, that's just the first test. In the, in the battery of the 
uh, test that you may have to do, the very first test that you should do, ask yourself, is this number, this is this number such that, such that the sum of its digits, is this number such that the sum of its digits is divisible by 3? Because if the sum of the digits, sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. One more time, the number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. For example, here we're looking at 51. Well, 51. The sum of the 51 is 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. I shouldn't say equal. I shouldn't. 51 does not equal 5 plus 1. This is ridiculous. Sum of the digits of 51 equals 5 plus 1. Now we can put an equal sign, which of course is 6. And of course we can divide 6 by 3. Therefore, 51 is divisible by 3. And you can very quickly figure it out yourself. 51, if you divide by 3, how many 3's in a 5? 5 has 1 3. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 21. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. Voila! Which means 51 equals 17 times 3. Right here, 17 times 3. 17 times 3. It is no good. 51, despite it looks, it's not a prime number. 53 is fine. 55 is another easy one to see. 55 is simply 5 times 11. So that's not good. Let's keep this thing separate here so that we don't... This belongs to this guy. 57 should be fine. Or is it fine? Let's do a quick test, shall we? 57, the sum of the digits... Sum of the digits of 57 is 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. And since sum of the digits is 12 and 12 can be divided by 3, therefore 57 can be divided by 3. Let's find out. Right here. 57 divided by 3. How many 3's in a 5? 5 has only one 3. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 27. How many 3's in a 27? There are 9 3's in a 27, which tells us that 57 equals 19 times 3, which is just as well, which is just as well, because 57 is only 3 less than 60, which we know is 20 times 3. If 60 is 20 times 3 and 57 is just 3 less than that, then it stands to reason that 57 must equal 19 times 3. 19 3's give us 57. 23 gives us 20, uh, 60. 59, 5 plus 9 is 14, so 14 cannot be divided by 3. I don't think it's a prime number. It's not the only test, but I don't think it's a prime number. I may be wrong, we'll, we'll find out in a second. I don't, I don't believe so. Well, I meant to say 57, 59 is a prime number, because the sum is because the sum is 14, and 14 cannot be divided by 3, therefore it is a prime number. It's what I meant to say. It's fine. 61 is fine. What about 63? 63 is no good, because clearly you can clearly see 63 can be divided by can be divided by 3. It's just 6 has 2 3's two and 3 has 1 3 in it, so it's, it's just 3 times 21. It is no good. 67, 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 cannot be divided by 3. I think it is a prime number. Let's look at 69. Where am I in my list here? 69. Oh, 69 is very easy to see. 69 can be divided by 3 very easily into 2 and 3. Because 6 plus 9 is 15. It's no good. 71 should be fine. 73 is fine. 77 is no good. It is 7 times 11. 81 is no good because 81 is a 9 squared, which, which means it can be divided by 9 and 3. What about 83? 83 is okay. What about 87? Well, let's find out quickly, okay? Sum of the digits of 87 is 8 plus 7, which is 15. Since we can divide 15 by 3, 87 can be divided by 3. We'll, we'll do it right now here, so we can see it. 
Where did I put the cap? 87. Let's do it right here. How many trees in the 8? There are 2 trees in the 8. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 27, and there are 9. Which means 87 is 3 times 29. 87 is 3 times 29. It is no good. 89 should be fine. 89 should be fine. What about 91? 91 is the most difficult one to, to figure out. We'll come to that in a second. 91 takes some time. 91 takes some time. We'll, we'll keep it in abeyance. 93 can be divided by 3 very easily. 93 divided by 3 is simply 3 and 1 is 31 times 31 times 3. It is no good. 95 is no good because Anything that ends in a 5 or a 0 can be divided by 5. 97 should be fine. Let's talk about 91. Let's talk about 91. I'm going to go through the list. I'm not going to write everything because it will take forever and ever for me to write everything. I'm going to speak and you follow me to figure out whether or not 91 is a prime number. Let's start the process, okay? 91 cannot be divided by 2 because it's not an even number. It cannot be divided by 3. For it to be able to divide by 3, the sum of the digits has to be divided by 3. The sum of the digits here is 10, and 10 cannot be divided by 3. Therefore, 91 cannot be divided by 3. 91 cannot be divided by 4, because in any number, for any number to be divisible by 4, it has to first be divisible by 2, which we just, which we just said is not, because it's not an even number. This is clearly not divisible by 5, because this doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. It's also not divisible by 6, because for a number to be divisible by 6, it has to be divisible by both 2 and 3. And this one is neither. Let's look at 7, shall we? Let's look at 7. I need the room. I'm going to raise this part here. Let's look at 7. 7, this is the only one that, that might give you trouble. 7, we know 10 sevens are 70. So if you take away, if you take our 91 and take away 10 sevens, we are left with 21. Okay, keep listening. So this represents 10 sevens. This 70 represents 10 sevens. And 21 represents 3 sevens. Voila! Which tells us that 91 equals 91 equals 10 plus 3, 13. 13 sevens equals 91. Which means 91 is a product of two prime numbers, 31, oh sorry, 13 and 7, which is by, oh, it's a product of two prime numbers, which means it's not, it's not a prime number. Oh, we're done. That's it. I thought it was. 91 is not a prime number. Oh, we're done. Because it can be divided by 13 and 7. That's all. There are still, there are still, I need the room. I need the room some in some place prominent. Where can I put it? Let's put it here. The very last comment here. There are still two problems. It left our left with our list. There are still two problems with our list. Can you tell me what they are? The first is that one is not considered a prime number. One is not considered a prime number. Even though it's an odd number, it is not a prime number. What's the second problem with our list? The second problem with our list is that 2 is a prime number. Two is a prime number. You need to replace that one by a two. 
2 is a prime number. Why is 2 a prime number? Because a definition of a prime number is that it can be divided by only by itself and 1. Well, what can you possibly divide 2 by? 2 cannot be divided by any number except itself and 1. And therefore it meets the criteria of being a prime number. There are two criteria. It has to be a number has to be divisible by only by itself and 1 and nothing else. Well, if you put it that way, then it's only one criterion, not criteria. It meets the criterion. It can only be divided by itself and 1. And if you're curious what I was just building about, the singular of criteria is criterion. We'll, we'll do it with our vocab one later. I don't want to turn this into a vocabulary lesson right now, but uh, people have a nasty habit of saying criteria when they meant to say criterion. So if there's only one rule, it's the criterion. So it, 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 it meets the criterion. Criterion here is that you can only divide it by itself and one and nothing else. Well, what can you possibly divide two by? Nothing else. Therefore, two is the only even number which is a prime number. If somebody were to ask you, is it possible for an even number to be a prime number? Is it possible for an even number to be a prime number? Well, your gut feeling might tell you that, oh, how can it be a prime number? If it's an even number, you can divide by 2. But the answer to that question is, yes, it is possible. 2 is an even number, which happens to be a prime number. I know I spent a lot of time on this concept, but hopefully you got something out of it. It is a very important concept. I will see you tomorrow, and I will pick up from where we left off. Okay? Bye now.